The Bear Dynamic DT 1990 Pro Headphones Review. Outstanding. <laughs> Welcome everyone, I'm Techzilla, and today I will be reviewing a pair of Tesla Studio Reference headphones for mixing and mastering, the DT1990 Pro headphones by Bayer Dynamic. Spoiler alert, the best under £1,000 open back headphones I have ever used. They currently cost £381 on Amazon, down from £511, so not cheap, but a bargain in my honest opinion. I will leave a link to them in the description below. Use that link as it helps me grow the channel. So let's take a look at what comes in the box. Two sets of Velour ear pads, which offer the listener the choice between a well-balanced sound or a deliberately analytical one. Two cables are included, a three meter straight cable and the other a five meter coiled cable, both of which are detachable thanks to being terminated with a three pin mini XLR connector on one end and a gold vaporized threaded 3.5 millimeter jack on the other end giving you the option to use the included full-size quarter-inch adapter. We also have a pro-level hard case included, which has a pouch inside to house your cables, a well to hold your second set of Velour air pads and a secure molded section to hold the beautiful 1990s. Let's talk specs before we go any further. The DT1990 Pros are open backed and weigh in at 370 grams. They have a nominal impedance of 250 ohms a frequency response of 5 to 40,000 hertz. The nominal sound pressure level is 102 dB SPL and these are a circumoral design, meaning they are designed to fit around the ear. The sound is produced by 45 millimeter Tesla drivers, which makes these more sensitive, but realistically, you should really use an amp to drive these. On first impressions, these headphones look and feel amazing. They ooze with quality and the materials used are top notch. These are handmade in Germany and it shows. They are constructed of solid metal and high quality aluminium everywhere from the yokes to the ear cups giving them a hefty tank like feel and finish. The headphone is made of what looks like a high quality leather, the stitching is spot on and there is plenty of padding underneath with a soft split band. The cables are constructed immaculately too, the strain reliefs are thick and strong and the coiled cable feels heavier out of the two. They are strong and thick and the jacks and mini XLR connectors feel like they could survive a nuclear explosion. Construction is flawless. This is the first time I have ever said that about a pair of cans. Unbelievable quality and they look beautiful. Of course, nothing matters if they are not comfortable. Well, I'm happy to report the DT1990 Pros feel perfect for me personally. The headband doesn't produce a hot spot on the top of my head and the ear cups don't cause my ears to get hot or sweaty. There is plenty of room inside for my ears not to touch the pads or the acoustic cloth and the softness of the pads prevents any pain in my upper jaw from prolonged usage. Clamping force is perfect too, not too tight with enough pressure to ensure that the headphones won't fall off my head and to provide a nice seal around my ears. Now the part you have all been waiting for, the sound quality. What can I say except these cans sound phenomenal. The two different sets of pads provide slightly different sound signatures. Let's talk about the balance pads first. These have a more laid back bass with a slight increase, giving a slight bloom to the lower mids and upper bass. The treble is a little sharper too. For some, it may be a couple of decibels more than they would prefer, like myself. The analytical pads, on the other hand, are the pads I prefer. Why? To me, there is a slight lift to the lower mids, giving a slightly warmer sound. They also slightly soften up the overall sound and produce a more pleasing result for me on a personal level. The analytical pads also give the more neutral sound signature and this is especially true for the bass, which has a flat line. The overall sound is perfect to me. The bass is clean, extends very deep, it's articulate and has excellent definition. In fact, I was blown away by the bass reproduction. Simply. Wow! The mids are spot on, I have never had any issues with mids on bare dynamic cans and in this instance they are clean, uncoloured with just a slight lift in the lower mids, which I really like. The highs are sharp without being painful to my eardrums. Biodynamic have stepped up their game when it comes to the Tesla drivers. They take the treble to a point where they are nearly too much but nope. They sound really balanced without being obnoxious. They are the best diffused feel equalized headphones I've ever heard. 
Width and imaging are great too, especially when you consider that most pro mixing headsets keep the sound stage closed in. The DT1990s I would say are slightly wider sounding than the Sennheiser HD 600s. These do leak sound a lot, but that's expected from an open back headphone, so not suitable for wearing in public places, but more for usage in a quiet environment. So should you get these? Yes, yes, yes. Even though these are for pro usage, give your ears a treat and try something that is luxurious sounding with exceptional build quality, you won't be disappointed. For me right now, after using these for several months, they have become my go-to set of cans, taking over from my HD 600s. Next, I will be reviewing the Bear Dynamic Closeback DT1770 Pros and the new Bear Dynamic Fox microphone, which I use to record the vocals to this video. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, smash that subscribe button and bell notification icon so you don't miss out on my upcoming videos. Give me a thumbs up and please help me out by sharing this video on your social media. Until next time, this is Texilla saying take care and peace.